I'm cheap, but I don't like to look cheap. That is kind of the theme behind today's video. I have found some of the best designer inspired look for less, I'm calling it luxe for less items, all found on Amazon, extremely affordable. I will have the links as always down in the description box and also as the first pinned comment. And if you are watching this video and you are not yet subscribed to my channel, take a moment, press that red subscribe button. You'll just be notified of my future videos and it's free and we have a good time here. So with all that said, we're gonna get started with some cute bags starting with this beauty right here. This is a Dior inspired saddle bag for a fraction of the price, okay? The original Dior bag is close to $2,000. This one right here is under 30 and I was so blown away by the quality and the detail. I really love the look of this roped leather trim around the flap and also on this shorter handle. And I do wanna make a clarification here. None of these are knockoffs. They're not pretending to be the designer bag. They just have that similar look. I think this is the perfect cute little summer bag. In fact, I just wore this out to the farmer's market and I got a compliment on it. My first time wearing it. Up next is a look for less of the beach bag of the summer, the bog bag. I don't know if you've seen them around. They are very trendy and viral right now, but they're 120 bucks. So I found this one on Amazon that looks nearly identical, has the same features and functionality, and it is less than half the price. So the reason everybody loves this bag and it's so incredibly popular is because first of all, it is gigantic and can fit all of your beach essentials and it has the open top so it's easy to put things in grab things out it is waterproof sandproof very durable and these little holes in here have functionality there's all these little add-ons you can pop in and out and a couple essentials i keep in my beach bag are also designer inspired and they are these adorable pouches that have that same kind of a look and feel to them as the stony clover bags do. I'm sure you've seen those around. They are so adorable, but they are also so incredibly expensive. I am offended by the price. So for example, the stony clover version of this exact same bag, same size, same shape, also says stuff on it. I will show you the picture. $163 versus under 10 bucks, $9.99. To me, that is a no brainer. I love these for travel. I love these for the beach bag. I also got one that says sun. So I'm gonna keep the kids sunglasses and sunscreen in this one. And what I love about these besides just how cute and bright and fun they are is that they are durable and wipeable. So if you have any spills or anything in here, you can just easily clean them out. So the other day I got an Instagram ad for the cutest travel bag I had ever seen. It had so many cool features to it. So it's a garment bag that converts into a duffel bag. And I was like, I need this. I clicked on it and the price stopped me in my track. So I'm like, I wonder if there's something similar on Amazon and you know, I found it. It actually has not arrived yet. So I will show you what I love about it is you can put your nice jackets, your dresses, things you don't want to get wrinkled in the garment bag compartment. And then it folds up into itself and becomes a duffel bag. So you could put the rest of your stuff and take that with you when you travel. So I'm very excited to use this one. The Lululemon puff bags, have you seen those around? They're very popular right now. Well, they're also $119. So if you want something that looks similar for a whole lot less, it is so adorable, so soft. And this material it's made with is very durable. If you got any spills or scratches or anything like that, it would wipe right off. This is another one of my favorites in this video. If you have seen or had your eye on the Prada pouch bags, they're very popular right now. The original is $1,950, which is just crazy to me because theirs is made out of nylon. Like this one, our look for less is under 30, 26 dollars currently. And I love the blush pink color, pretty faux pebbled leather, the little chain strap, and of course, your pouch. What would you keep in this pouch? I'm probably going to keep my little sensory earbuds that I have on me at all times. Now let's get into my specialty category, athleisure, because I pretty much live in athleisure. So we're going to start with the top that I'm wearing. It looks a lot like an aloe yoga top. I will show you what the aloe one looks like. That one is close to $70. This one is less than half the price. And the quality of this is top notch. Like it's really thick, buttery soft. I have it in two colors and I just love the detail on it. The one thing I will say about this top, if you have a larger chest, I would say if you are a D cup or higher, it's 
probably not gonna fit. Or you would have a lot of cleavage going on, so just keep that in mind, but absolutely love this top. It is one of my favorite workout tops. This bodysuit is Skims inspired specifically because of the fabric. It's that same type of silky, really nice quality, thick, fabric as the skims like i'm a big fabric person and to be honest with you that is why i don't talk all that much about amazon fashion items because i don't always have the best luck and this one is so well made i love this vibrant blue color and the cut of this is really special this is an amazing alternative to the lululemon scuba half zip the lulu version is 118 dollars. this one is 35 and comes in a lot of pretty fun colors. But for me, where I wear this, like I go to Pilates early in the morning, so I wear this on top. Another one of my weird random passions, leggings, you guys. At one point, I was gonna come out with my own legging brand. So these that I'm wearing right now are the definitive Lulu Align Look for Less. In my opinion, I've tried them all. I've tried so, so many. These are my favorite and the price difference is staggering. These are a full $100 less. The look, the feel, the quality, are amazing. They are very comparable to the aligns. And one thing I will say, because a lot of times the less expensive leggings over time, the waistband starts to get loose on me, but these ones do not. Like I've had these and washed them many times and they are still nice and tight and the quality is there. Like I just love them so much. My other favorite leggings, I call these the butt catfish leggings, because if you want your booty to look amazing sculpted lifted if you don't have much going on and you want to make it look like you do you need these the original the high end are the alpha elite they are known for being the best scrunch leggings like these are so good i have to wear these with caution i have to be careful where i wear these because sometimes they will get you unwanted attention let's move into beauty this brush you guys is the best inexpensive makeup brush i have ever found like Added to your cart, it's around 10 bucks. It's the dual ended brush, and it is very comparable to the It Cosmetics double ended brush, which is, I think, 40 around 40. This one, $11.99, and it's a two for one. So I use this side for my foundation, this side for my loose powder. Like, if you gave me this brush to use, I would think it was a high end brush. That's how good it is. The quality, the density, how it applies your makeup on your face is just. 10 out of 10. Also in the beauty category, if you have not yet tried the NYX Brow Pen, after months and months of me talking about it, going on and on about it, it is my favorite brow product of all time. It's 10 bucks and it is such a great dupe for the Anastasia Brow Pen. It's the same thing, but actually I did get the Anastasia one just to compare them side by side. And the NYX one I found was more pigmented and lasted longer. So I feel like I finally got my brows to look good after so many years of having horrible eyebrows. And another little tip, I would say go one or two shades darker. Maybe not for everyone, but for me, I feel like I look better with a slightly darker brow. One thing I absolutely refuse to buy are expensive sunglasses. Just, just no. Mine always get broken, lost, stepped on. I won't spend the money, but if you want the nice look, these look just like the Dior sunglasses that are $450. These ones are 15. I'm not a good sunglasses model because I have a very small, narrow face and all sunglasses look horrible on me, but I'll just show you them on me. And then these ones are so cute. They are flattering on almost everyone, probably not on me because again, my freakishly small face. If you have a normal size face, I'm telling you, these look so good. Next up, some home related items because I needed a new dishware set. We have had these same dishes for 10 years. So I really liked this dishware set from Pottery Barn, but it was pretty pricey. So instead I got this set and it's the full 12 piece set for under $80. And I love this stoneware look. It comes in different colors, washes, and it has kind of that handmade ceramic look. These I just think are so beautiful and classy. Also for home decor, my Beltair throw blankets are inspired by these Pottery Barn throw blankets that I wanted. They were super expensive. And I was like, no, I want to come out with my own that have that nice universal classy look to elevate the foot of your bed. Your couch. We even use them on the outdoor furniture and they've held up really well, but for a fraction of the cost, these are currently on sale. And then I have an additional 20% off code. And not only do they elevate the look, they're also functional because if you put these over your couch, it will help protect your furniture from kids 
and pets. And last, what actually inspired this whole video are my AirPod Max look for less headphones. These are under 40. The real AirPod Maxes are close to 500, I think 450. So I love how those look, but I'm just not about to spend $500 on headphones, but they're so sleek, they're so pretty. I wanted them purely for looks. But if you are a sound quality snob, I mean, the sound quality is not amazing on these. They do the job. I'm mostly like 95% of the time I'm listening to a podcast or an audiobook, So it's fine for that. The battery lasts forever. The one thing I will say I did not like that bothered me was that there's this seam on the ear pads. So I got a cover for them. So I wear these, I listen to my audiobooks while I do my cleaning, laundry, things around the house. So these are like a partial recommendation. I'm happy with them because I just really wanted the look of the AirPod Maxes. I didn't really care much about having amazing top-notch quality sound. Um, so if you fit into that camp, these are a good alternative. If you are interested in any of these things, the links are going to be down below in the description box. Also as the first pinned comment, if you watched all the way to this point in the video, don't forget to subscribe. And if you missed my last video, I will have it for you right here. Keep watching, the fun doesn't need to be over yet. Thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video.